this time, this is a very important step to make sure that our LMS is now running. So in this video, we're going to create now our learning management system. So step one, make sure that everything is running in SAMP. So I'm going to go now to my applications folder and then navigate to SAMP and Manager OS X. If you're using Windows, that's C, Windows, Program Files, and then SAMP. So Manager OS X and make sure that everything is running. So in my case, all my servers are now running. I'm going to open now my browser, type localhost, and click on PHP My Admin. So that's step two. So go to localhost and then click on PHP My Admin. Now, what is step three? Step three is click on database and name it DBLMS. All right, so make sure that it's DBLMS because that is the file from our folder that we downloaded a while ago. So click on database and let's create now a database name. I'll call this now as DBLMS. So I'll copy this one and paste it here and then click on create. All right. Now what's the next step? So next step is click on the import tab and import the dblms.sql file from our folder that we downloaded a while ago and pasted it under htdocs, all right? So this is, that is under your htdocs, my school folder, all right? So let's click on the import tab. There you go. And under browser computer, let's go on choose file. And that, that is under Applications, SAMP, then HTDocs, and then click on your folder that you renamed. In my case, it's My School. And click on DB. DB stands for Database. And import now this dblms.sql folder. So click and Open. And then let's just wait for that one. All right? So after that, Click on Go. So where is the Go folder? Click on Go. There you go. It was, it was here. All right. So it was covered by my webcam. So click on Go. All right. So let's just wait for that one. It has now been imported. Now that is imported, all we have to do now is. We have to test it now on our localhost server. So I'll type in localhost and then the name of your folder that you downloaded a while ago. So in my case, the name under htdocs is my school. So localhost and then my school. Now if I test that one, right, it says access forbidden. Now, because the access is forbidden, we have to now to conf we have to configure now the permissions on our folder. So let's go back to our htdocs, and all I have to do now is to enable the permission. So my school, get info, and then over here, everyone, let's make sure that it's read and write. All right. So let's enable that one. So one, two, three, four. Oops, that's one, two, three, four. Just simple password for my Mac. And let's try now to refresh this one. All right, so type in again, localhost. And this time, I'll type in my school. If you want, you could refresh that on your browser. And of course, voila, you now have your own learning management system. Isn't that cool? So all is set. So even if, I turn off my Wi-Fi and I go ahead, type in localhost my school as long as your SAMP is ran, running. Just type in localhost, localhost, and then my school. And there you go. All is set. So I'll see you in the next video and we're going to configure now this learning management system. See ya.